This is bull crap. I'm just doing me, man, so you better get used to it. Hey, 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 get back here, kid. Is something wrong? Ugh, yeah. I got a real problem on my hands here. What kind of problem? I'm the card czar of this here trading card emporium, dig? This player's been coming in with a wicked bad attitude. The guy that just bolted out of here, that was him. He's been causing the other customers a whole lot of grief. Then why don't you just ban him from your shop? I'd like to, but he can't exactly blow all his money on my cards if I kick him out now, can he? The man has a point. Look, I don't care about all this kitty card game stuff, but it's way uncool to be a jerk to people you're playing with. You don't care about this kitty card game stuff? Please, I've seen you hoarding cards. You must be thinking of someone else. Uh-huh. Expansive and impressive card collection or no, I can't just let this punk slide. Wait, why are you so riled up about this? No reason in particular. It's just this guy's like the terror of card shops occupied wide, right? And it'd be a real pain in the ass if he somehow spawned another delusion we needed to take care of. How selfless of you. Hey, you! Mm, me? I'm gonna go tell this guy what's what. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> You're a lifesaver, bud. Thanks, Buckets. You bet. Now let's move, Tachibana. Move to where? If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably hanging around card and collection on Main Street. You're remarkably well informed for someone who doesn't care about card games, aren't you? No. <sighs> what a pain. You another of that guy's victims? Guy? You know, the guy. Probably just stopped in here. Terrible sense of sportsmanship, that guy. Oh, that guy. Yes, you're exactly right. It was just a short while ago. He was playing a game with some elementary schoolers and being very immature. He even made them cry. It ended up creating a huge hullabaloo. Guys making poor little innocent grade schoolers cry too? Guess some punks really are beyond redemption. Getting a little heated there, Yamato? <sighs> just trying to keep the streets safe from delusion, that's all. Anyway, what do you suppose his next stop was? Card Temple. Side streets. Man, is there a card shop you aren't intimately familiar with? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm smashing you losers like ants! You idiots think you can call yourselves real card gamers? <laughs> don't make me laugh. Yamato, it's him! It's the guy! Uh, Yamato? What are you... What? Do you not have any rare cards? Commons in your deck are all super lame, too. You really suck at this. Hey, jerk ass. The hell do you want, brat? I'm no brat. You're still in middle school. Ipso facto, you're a brat. Well, I got news for you, dipwad. I'm a high schooler. Huh? Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you just worked like a widow middle schooler. I'm so sorry. So, yeah. What's a middle schooler like you want with me? I'm a high schooler, damn it! Ease down, Yamato. You do look like a middle schooler. You wanna go too, Tachibana? Uh, no, sorry. What I meant to say was that he looks like a middle schooler. Makes sense he'd be trolling around these card shops. Man, all I wanna do is enjoy some real card battles, you know? Not all this kid stuff. That's not how it works. Card games aren't one-sided. You might as well go kick over someone's sandcastle. Without an opponent, you can't even play. That's why you gotta make sure both players are having fun. Got it? Even if your opponent is just a little grade schooler. You serious? You gonna try this touchy-feely, everyone's a winner crap on me? None of those weaklings could even come close to being my opponent. They're all garbage, every last one of them. Which is why I'm about to put you in your place. And there it is. Ha! You've gotta be joking! A baby-faced middle schooler like you is gonna come after me? You gonna stand around talking, or are you gonna get ready to play? Oh, you bet your ass I'll play you, Tiny. This is gonna be good. Come at me. Prepare yourself. Battle mode. Engaged and on standby. Ready? Fight! I'll go first. I summon Dante and end my turn with an assault shift. <laughs> That's all? I've already got the four cards I need to counter that lined up in my hand. What the hell are you talking about? 
You'll see. Let's hurry this up. I'll end my turn by having my machine arm use a defense shift. <laughs> what kind of crappy card is that? I sacrifice my Dante to summon Monarch of the Unfathomable. You might not know the Monarch. It's a rare one thanks to a first-run printing error. Goes for over 100,000 yen. And your point is? My point is, I'm using the Monarch of the Unfathomable's ignition skill, dropping you to 30 life points, loser. 30's more than enough. Yeah, keep up the tough guy act while you can. With that, I end my turn. Hurry up and draw. Didn't I tell you? I've already got what I need. This match is in the back. Yeah, for me. No matter what you drew, there's absolutely no way you can turn things around now. I summon this card! No freaking way! That's... The right hand of the Eastern Lich King! You've gotta be kidding! And I'm using its ignition skill. Which means I get to summon again. I summon the right hand of the Western Lich King. And I immediately use its ignition skill. To summon the right leg of the Southern Lich King. Whereupon I use its ignition skill. That's... How? How were those the four cards in your hand? Summoning the left leg of the Northern Lich King. And to top it all off, I summon this. That's right. The heart of the Lich King! You don't mean... With these five cards assembled in my field, I've secured all I need to take my victory. I execute a Link combo skill, which summons Karodia the Forbidden One! I can't believe this! You know what comes next, don't you? Karodia the Forbidden One's ignition skill. Yeah, I know! Damn it, just hurry up and finish it already. <laughs> we'll be done when I say we're done. Karodia! Obliterate! Go! Perfect daybreak! Grant me my perfect victory! No! Impossible! How could I lose? What's that you said earlier? About how your opponents were all garbage? No! <laughs> Victory is mine. And you've never played this game before, right? I've only played it like twice. Honest. Whatever you say, Mr. Beginner's Luck. Let's just head back to Card Queendom. Hey, it's you guys! Just in time. In time? In time for what? Check this. The guy from before with the bad attitude, he came back just a bit ago and was all apologies, dude. He apologized? For all of it, kid. He was talking about how he was gonna win next time for sure, and how he wanted a training partner. No kidding. Well, how about that? <laughs> you friggin' bet, dude. I don't know what changed him, but it's like a Christmas miracle without the Christmas. Yeah, uh, about that. Well, sounds like things are just about settled here. Come on, Tachibana, let's hurry up and get out of here. Seriously, Yamato? You don't want to talk about that guy's defeat at the hands of Karodi? I have no idea what you're talking about. The guy just acknowledged the error of his ways and apologized. End of story.